Hi everyone. I thank God for another opportunity to come online and share his word and his testimony with others. I pray, Lord, that you would draw those that you have predestined in the name of Jesus. So my son has this toy compass Small and I'm toy. looking at this compass. Small toy. I'm looking at this compass. It's a keychain. Wow. And I'm reminded of when I was a teenager and I knew that God existed within my heart, deep in my soul. I knew that there was a God. I knew a God existed, but yet I had no moral compass. Yeah. What do you allow to dictate where you go in life? What direction are you headed? You know, I even looked up the definition of a compass and it's an instrument used um, and it's an important instrument used in navigation. Yeah. Who is navigating your life? Who is navigating? Who is navigating your life? Who are you allowing to navigate your life? Are you allowing the dictates of this world to navigate your life? When I was a teenager, I allowed teenage magazines to, to navigate my life. I used books to navigate my life. I looked to movies to navigate my life. Commercials, advertisements. I looked to the world to navigate my life. The Bible says, basically, I was looking... I was allowing the dictates of this world to navigate my life. I was using the wrong compass to navigate where I went and what I did in life. And uh, a lot of it was, you know, wasted time. The enemy just wasted my time. And I'm always reminded of a pastor who used to say to us, to his congregation, you know, to new believers, before Christ, you lived life your own way. And how did it work out for you? How did it go? Well, oftentimes we find ourselves in different directions, you know, and in trouble. And we've brought it upon ourselves because we just, we don't follow the right compass. We don't follow the Lord Jesus Christ. We're not learning about him. We're not following him. The Bible says when Jesus died, he left us with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit he guides us and he leads us and he directs us into all truth he you you can communicate with him he will lead you and he will guide you and he will you know look at i look at even the stories the accounts in the bible with um the uh the apostles the holy spirit that was left for us as believers the holy spirit led them the holy spirit communicated with them um and you know you can see the power and and the signs and wonders etc that they did so it's just a quick little um word of encouragement or maybe for somebody who's kind of sitting around looking at their life and saying where am i going what am i doing what have i been doing my whole life i've been wasting my life or you know, maybe you're you're allowing the wrong things to dictate your life. Maybe you're allowing money to dictate your life. Maybe you're allowing the um, lust and the, the desire for um, sex to control your life. Maybe you're allowing food to control your life. You know, like there's so many different things. And I know that that sounds small, but um, in our culture, I mean, that's not, that's not unreal. Um, so... I just want to share that little word as I was looking at the compass. I also was reminded of Ray Comfort and I've heard him, you know, speak on the Bible being a moral compass. And if society doesn't have a moral compass, then where is it? Where does, where does society end up with no moral compass, with no moral laws, with no moral instructions? It just, it, it ends up being in chaos and, um, in a state that nobody wants to be in. So, I just want to leave you with this question to ponder. Think of a compass and ask yourself, who am I allowing? Where am I going in life? And who am I allowing to dictate what I'm doing in my life? And am I, am I following the right voice? Am I following the right, the right leader, so to speak? Who am I following? Think about it. We only have one life to live.
The Bible reveals the truth that the Lord created us and um, He will lead and guide us and direct us. But it's up to us to decide who are we going to allow to dictate. Who are we going to allow to dictate our path, our steps. In the name of Jesus, I pray that somebody thinks on this question that I've just proposed. Search your heart, search your mind, search your soul. Time is getting shorter. Jesus is alive. Jesus is real. In Jesus' name, amen.